Hello, so, um, Machi has been out, was released about three days ago now, or I guess about two and a half days, rather. Um, so it's probably time for us to summon her, but first that, um, we'll talk about this, like, some stuff you don't know by now, that's, uh, there's the Mind Deal Grove event going on, this is the Mushy and Shroom, uh, release event, um, and you can get her, sorry, you can buy some coins and stuff, and you do quests and stuff for the coins, and then you go to this thing, you can use those coins, uh, to buy her outright, or buy these dolls that have her souls, and, uh, you know, we use summon her that way, plus she has some skin bundles, which are super controversial, which I've also covered, but, uh, anyway, let's summon, um, Mushy, like I said, some people in my guild think she's actually really strong, um, with one guild member actually saying she's gonna ruin the game, so, uh, I guess we'll see, but, um, Mushy and Shroom, uh, she is a front, fights a front line, she's a tank, her main stat is strength, an essential element of the magic force since its very birth. We are the silent and unseen witnesses to the history of your present events in whatever the future may hold. Imbued with powerful woodland magic, we've evolved into our higher self, sentient beings capable of dreaming. We are ready to save this world. We are one, yet we are legion. Right, so her ultimate is perfect copy. Mushy and Shroom spawn uh, inactive. I guess it's them. It should be because it's plural, right? So they're, they're ultimate. Mushy and Shroom spawn an inactive copy of Shroom with the hero's base stats and a missing portion of health. The copy could take damage, receive uh, healing. When the copy's health is fully repressed for the first time, it activates an active copy. Can attack and use all skills learned by the hero, but it won't be able to replenish energy. There can be up to three copies of Shroom on battlefield at any even time. While uh, growth, uh, Pascal inactive shrooms and spore mushrooms can recover health by themselves. Effect is boosted by 100% for each active shroom on the battlefield. So they have half self regen, uh, with wild growth. Um, branching mycelium, mushy and shroom spawn mycelium with three inactive spore mushrooms. With a portion of their health missing, these mushrooms can take damage, receive healing. Their max health is 25% of the hero's health. Once the mushroom's health is fully replenished, it runs towards the enemy and explodes. The explosion deals damage and shrouds enemies with a, within a short range in a mushroom a spore cloud and silence them for four seconds. Nearby enemies not affected by mushroom spores yet are prioritized when selecting a target. Um, will the wisp mushy and shroom damage the nearest enemy? Damage scales with the healing received by allies since the skill was last activated. 50% of healing from Mushi and Shroom skills, 100%, 150% of healing from allies converted next range. So, we'll, uh, do, like I said, we'll do some slots here. So, we're gonna summon her. New hero received, Mushi and Shroom. It almost looks like a lollipop, but it's not. It's kind of funny. Alright, so, what we want to do is put some levels into, uh, them. All right, there we go, max level. Let's equip this stuff. Since we have a bunch of those items, let's just make that. Okay, there you go. Uh, we don't have a thing, thing here. A yacht again. Wow, we got ten. We got the full ten. Wow, that was a perfect raid. We got ten out of ten. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Like, wow. Get her to file a rank at least, just so we can see the stuff easier. And we're just gonna make a bunch of these, cause I don't have to do this. It's just, it's just easier to have them pre-made. Cause you end up like that, so. That kind of stuff, that's why. Uh, we have plenty of that, sure. We have that kind of stuff, that stuff. We have that stuff. Same thing here, just make a bunch of these. Okay. Should be good. Alright, just keep making stuff. Oh, that's where we stopped there. See, we should have made more of these necklace things on the one thing. 
because it's just harder to farm them. It's harder to craft them when it's like this. It's just easier if it's like on the node where you can just do it. All right, so we'll stop on there. Okay, so we're Violet plus two because this one requires stuff like that and trains, which we need for other heroes. All right, so perfect copy. Um, so this has 50, so 50, so it scales with her health, 50% of her health. So health is a super important stat for Mushi here. Um, you have wild growth. This is scales with her magic attack, 8%. So magic attack also a super important health uh, stat. Um, this is, uh, based on her health. And, this is a magic attack, 80%, so magic attack and health, like, they, this, this scales quite a bit. This is 50% of health, 80% of magic attack, so those are both going to be really important here. Um, damage scales, the healing received by allies since the skill is last activated, 50% of healing from Mushin Shroom skills, and 150% of healing from allies converted to extra damage, so, so I kind of think this might stop, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, this is one we'll have to test because that's such a weird ability, how it's worded. But she has self-regen, like, which could be, like I said, some people think this makes her overpowered. Um, glyphs we got. We got health glyph. Probably your pri first priority. She has a tank. Health and strength. Strength. Probably strength first just because you get crit protection or whatever. So strength, health, magic attack, um, magic penetration. And, uh, armor would probably last, even though she's a tank. I don't know. Like, all of these stats are good. Maybe magic penetration last. Magic pen, maybe mag pen last. Like, these are all good stats for her. Like, these are all good. Um. So, skin. She actually has three skins. So, strength skin, health skin, magic pen skin. So, magic pen is probably the last one you would do. You probably would do strength, health, then magic penetration. I'd say they're all pretty good, though, since she does do magic damage. Yeah, I'd say magic penetration, probably the last glyph. Do that la glyph last. Um, Just based on their, their stuff here. Strength, primary stat, nothing unusual there. Um, She buffs armor. I guess that makes sense. Most tanks buff armor. Oh, Defender's Covenant, Strength Ring. So pretty, pretty standard tank uh, set up here. Um, we can look at what her ascension. She has no skills, which is lame. It hits the wrong one. She's obviously on the tank branch. Um, so we got armor, strength, health, health. A lot of health. That's good. Health is an important stat for her. Magic attack. Armor. Magic penetration. Wow, you know what she doesn't have? She does not have magic defense. She takes magic, she's gotta take magic damage like a chump. No magic defense in her glyphs or her ascension or her skins. Um, like what's her items look like? Does she have magic defense items? No, she's gonna have like no magic defense. So Defender's Covenant is like her, where is it for her? This is like her main source of magic defense for right here. This is pretty much the only thing that's going to get her magic defense. Like, okay, so that's that's something to be aware of. I mean, that'll get you some intelligence, which is magic defense, magic attack, magic pressure. Her itemization is really similar to Aurora's. It's really similar to Aurora's itemization. Magic penetration. Oh, a bit different here. This is an interesting one. Evening curfew, physical attack. That's kind of garbage. Okay, here you go. Magic defense. Oh, she, she's had a spell that she her magic defense is almost as bad as Aurora's armor. And she doesn't, like I said, yeah, she has some armor. But, uh, yeah, not. She's kind of going to be uh, Mushi. She's going to live up to her name be Mushi, that's for sure. But, uh, mad magic damage, I think, is going to take her. She doesn't have a lot of armor either. Doesn't have a lot of armor, doesn't have a lot of uh, magic defense, but uh, she does have some armor in her ascension, so. Like, so she's not going to be super, super squishy, because she does have some armor in her thing, unlike Aurora, who doesn't have any of that. Um, Alright, so now that we've seen that, we can actually. Uh, some people have been putting up some uh, battles here with her, so we are just going to 
Test, let's see how well we could beat any of these teams here. Like, this might be a theme. We'll just kind of go through these. Like, let's try the Twins. So the Twins probably destroy them. Um, I did a couple, like, the lines where the Twins did destroy them. Destroy, destroy them. Yeah, them. Sorry, I had it right the first time. Destroys them. They're plural. They are Legion. Yeah, and takes full damage from Celeste here. Ooh, wow, 50,000. Oh, full damage. So, Mushi and Shroom has less than 22,000 magic uh, defense when maxed out. Because Roar only gets about 22,000 magic pen. So, Mushi Shroom is taking full damage from Aurora there. Um, yeah, so... So Mushi and Sh Mushi Shroom, uh, they are they are definitely gonna take a lot of damage from Magic Attack. Like, Magic is just gonna destroy them. Twins, Celeste, Aurora, not gonna do so well there. Um, oh, that's not a Mushi team. These are let's see, these are both twins. Uh, da da da. Let's see, is there any more Mushi teams? Two, three, five. Six. Here you go. Here's another one. I knew there was some more out here. I've seen people testing with uh, them a lot the last couple days. So, but yeah, no. The people think the regen stuff that Mushi and Shroom is going to be overpowered. But I mean, they're pretty squishy on them on uh, mitigation, especially magic attack. Like they're taking full damage from Aurora, so that's you know that's pretty bad. But uh, Aurora is kind of OP. So, but Mushi does magic damage with the, uh, their stuff. Yeah, 34,000. Full damage. Full damage. No mitigation. So, they buff armor, um, but no magic defense. So, magic defense is huge vulnerability for them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Now, they take, look, they just take magic damage like a chump. Magic damage like a chump. All right, this one has Isaac in it. That might help them. Isaac. Yep, no, what do you probably need? Just so Bubbles Jess is really good with them, um, but what they probably need is something like Thea with them. I guess they are hinting that in the story, huh? They need Thea to support them with magic defense buffing. No Sebastian, so I could probably st I could stun lock this one easily too. Bubbles of Justice, so you got their little theme spawning back here. I assume they have the same magic defense stat as her or them. Like, I don't know, but, uh, between Morgan and, uh, Mushi, though, that's a lot of Bubbles of ju uh, Justice, uh, redirection. Got a lot of minions on the board here. Oh, another win there. Is that Isaac? Made it a bit tougher, but, uh, yeah, we haven't looked at the patrons on them, have we? So we'll look at that in a sec. Let's look at a couple of these other fights. Okay, this one's Rufus. Rufus, Fafnir. This is one that people said is kind of tough, so. I mean, are we worried about status effects? A bit harder, so if we have to go with the forego Sebastian. 
One more again? Let's try it. We might get like stun locked or something. Let's see, let's put don't really need the other one, so let's do that. Alright. Biscuit. Try to stop some of that healing. Yeah, Mushi as an off tank might be better. Just because they cannot stand a full frontal assault from Celeste. They do take a lot from Krista, though. Though I guess the ice spikes weren't down at the time, but uh. Cursed, so Cursed Flame uh, works pretty well against them, but uh, that, in that case, they got healing. Like I said, the Cursed Flame didn't last long enough. Let's see. Yeah, no, Aurora keeps them from getting full health, that's for sure. I mean, as I said, the Aurora is OP. She really is the best tank in the game. Okay, well, Fafter is definitely getting us his stuns here. Like, that's definitely a thing. No, Sebastian definitely. Probably would have been easier just to use Sebastian plus Kane here. Oh, if you got the Shroom copy. Perfect copy, is that what it's called? Oh wow. Well. Yeah, no, I don't know if you can get this. Without Sebastian, this is pretty tough without Sebastian. So this is a line that might be really good here. So we'll try a different line in a bit here, but I think this is gonna be a loss here. But it is Rufus for trying to beat this with the Oh yeah. Oh, plus it down. Okay, so this is gonna be a loss here. Alright, so that's that's one we can't just run through with the twins easily. I kind of expect that though, Rufus, though. We did get Rufus, though. Rufus did die. So it actually is a timeout. Interesting. Okay, let's look at that. So let's look at the stats on that one here. That wasn't the same one. Which one did we just fight? This one here. There you go. So, <laughs> that is some insane numbers over a prolonged fight. 8 million damage. There you go. Like I said, Aurora really is a queen of DPS. So that's why I mean she's just OP, but look at that. Mushi Shroom has some nice damage potential. Of course, Bash, we know he's a high DPS hero. Um, for all those minions though, like I said, I mean, I don't know her minions tack, right? Like, I don't know, but they don't, they do magic damage, so maybe not, I don't know. But he did get a lot, so maybe it could have just been off his own attacks or something. Um, wow. Damage taken, 14 million. 17 million healing, wow. That is some healing. Like I said, Axel, you probably have to use them with Axel, though. That is some crazy healing. 17 million healing? Holy heck. Okay, so that was that one. Let's see. This is one with a... Kayla, Kayla, Aiden, this will be an interesting one. Where is Sab? Okay, here we go. Um. Don't think we need Axel there. We probably want to do biscuits. Probably, maybe. Kayla, this is gonna be an interesting fight. They actually have Kayla Aiden. Usually it's just uh Aiden or Kayla. I don't see them together that often. But Yeah, I'm just taking massive magic damage here. Yeah, no, this is... Oh, we have Rufus, though. I forgot about Rufus. I forgot there's Rufus in this line. This is not going to be a win because uh, we are 
Forgot to use, forgot to, forgot Rufus here. Forgot to use Morgan. We'll have to bring Morgan here. Let's see. Let's see. Sometimes you can get lucky. Forgot that Rufus is here. Because we were, like I said, I just took me a minute to find my other hero and I forgot who I was looking for, I think, is what happened. Nope, Lars, you're not supposed to do that. Nope. Sometimes you can get lucky if you're patient, but uh, I didn't bring Kane along. Like, I forgot. I forgot who I was looking for. I was like, and I grabbed Sebastian. I have it. There you go. We did get a win, but uh, that was kind of, like said, should have used Morgan. Should have used Morgan there. So let's try that again. But this time it's Morgan. Now, I got, if I forgot who I was looking for, it took me a second. And I'm like, wait, well, who I was I looking for? Oh, that's right. That was actually wrong hero. Totally forgot, but uh, let's see. Ooh. Do, do, do. Again, I think we'll do that way. All right. But it's just a bonus fight. And then we'll try some with, like, try to figure out some act different Mushi teams. Mushi Shroom teams. Yeah, I don't know. Kayla is interesting versus Twins. Oh, okay, they did not move that town. That, now this is going to be a mess. Like, Kayla didn't get moved back to the middle when Lars ulted that time, like they did the first time. Um, that's the thing about uh, Eye of the Storm. It can be a bit weird with how it displaces. There you go. Now Kayla's moving back. I think it's because Kayla was in an animation at the time. Uh, Kayla didn't get moved. It's, it can be, like I said, I've lost fights because Eye of the Storm did not move like how I was expecting it to. Like, and there seems to be some randomness to Eye of the Storm as well, so. Look at all those army, and they're just getting destroyed by the magic damage. Oh, Rory just killed. Yep. All right. Well, that's Val faster with uh, Morgan, kind of as you would expect. Okay, and this one's another Rufus team. Oh, didn't we do this one already? We did this one, right? No, that was different. It was this one? Oh, is this the same team? That's the same team. We did that same team. Okay, so that's the same team. Okay, we did that one already. All right. So go. Let's look at creating like. Let's look at max heroes here. Okay, so Mushi can use, that's it, interesting, just all of her axles, so you're probably going to want Oliver pretty much all the time, unless you're trying to, I guess you want, I mean, I guess, I can't think of a, I mean, magic attack's nice, I mean, you guess you get more healing, I think you'd want Oliver like 9 times out of 10, so we do that, like I said, we could put her be put them behind Aurora here. We do Sebastian, Celeste, um, guess I'd be like that. Two quadrinity. Try something like that. Sure. Yeah, it's, we're speculating that. The one with, uh, Fafnir, though, and Rufus, though, that would, that one seemed like a pretty good line. But twins, we're, we're getting them. Like, in my, all the other ones. With the exception of the Fafnir and Rufus one, like, the twins are definitely getting them. Um, where's Sebastian? Okay, we'll try this line here. So, with the combination of Aurora and Isaac can actually Resist a lot of magic damage, even though Mushi's a uh, chump on magic defense. And Mushi might really want someone like Thea. Oh, wow. 
Okay, there you go. I think I found a winner here. So we might try that faster as a different one too. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we got it. Never mind. Nope. Trinity Twin strikes again. Visita is a close one though. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say like what would be good. Where's that Fafner team? This one here. This one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. What would you use? I guess we could try Arachnamaya. But no, Sebastian. Arachnamaya. A biscuit. All right. All right, let's try this. Silence, so you see the little guys swarming. Yeah, like if they if they could use Mara Patron, like they would honestly be, like I said, Mara Patron would make them a whole lot better. That's 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 a patron that would make a lot of sense. One, it boosts their magic defense, plus it would also make their silence last longer. Like, Mara Patron is what they're totally missing. They, they, not getting Mara Patron, like, totally broke that hero. Like, it just, Mara Patron would make them so much better. Like, they so wanted Mara Patron. Like, that's, that's my biggest takeaway. I think they really needed Mara Patron. It would help their magic defense, plus it would make them, their silence last a lot longer. Like, that silence would freaking end me right now. If, it, if they had Mara Patron, that silence would end me. But because they can't use Mara Patron, the silence is too short of a duration to be too threatening. Like, Isaac and Thea are better for silence. Like, if Mara Patron is on Mushi, Mushi would be quite a bit better, I think, than they are. I mean, they seem like a decent hero. They definitely have some potential. It's kind of like the Kayla and Aiden, where we're still still figuring out where they are. Like, they're, well, there's heroes who do seem really good, but haven't really found a spot for it. Like, it took, like, six months, and uh, Ishmael reworked before Fafner actually found a role. So, like, it was an Ishmael rework that made Fafner, like, find a spot. Like, I mean, and even then it took a while for it took a while for Fafner actually find a role. So we actually timed out, but it would have been a win if it went on longer. So yeah, like a lot of takeaway. Um this video is like approaching 30 minutes though, so I think we just gotta wrap it up here. Um my final thoughts are Mushi, interesting hero, a lot of potential. Um Let's find her find find them. Where are they? Find Mushi. Trim. Oh boy. Oh, there they are. Like, they have a lot of potential, like, some of these, like, the healing, the massive healing, that 17 million healing we saw, like, lots of potential, but the limited patronage, uh, the limited patrons really hold them back. Like, they really want Mara Patron. Mara Patron would make them so much better. Like, Mara Patron, that's the patron they wanted, and they didn't get it, so. Yeah, um, not too much more to say, though. Um, if you want to see... Uh, my video on like the event, you can find that below. Thank you for watching.